Some advice for a new player is um, strictly just come play. Um, the more you play, the better you'll get. A lot of people think that paintball hurts a whole lot more than it really does and they're scared to come out here and try it. A lot of times you're gonna get a paintball that breaks on your gun, on your hopper, on your mask. These are all hard spots of gear that you have on you, not bare skin. At Wild World Paintball and with Team Conversion, we are extremely about safety. Some of the main rules for paintball are to keep your goggles on at all times when you're in a, mat in a netted area. Um, outside of that netted area, your barrel condom or barrel plug have to stay on your barrel at all times. If there's a tank, if there's a tank on the gun, and if there's a hopper on the gun, that barrel condom and plug have to be on the gun. Paintball dates back as far as the 1940s when the two Nelson brothers created a paint company which was originally used to mark timber and livestock and it was spray guns and then they eventually developed this idea that maybe they could make a gun that would shoot little balls of paint that way they could mark timber and livestock from a distance. Paintball by far is the most expensive sport, hands down, the most expensive sport that you can play. As far as cost goes, you're probably going to spend $1,500 to $2,000 before you're done with like a full set of gear, including your gun. And time, you're going to spend probably every weekend out here if you're on a dedicated team. I've almost had to give up my senior prom to go. There's a kind of a fun day for paintball, it's called Living Legends, it's in Chicago which I'm considering going to and skipping my own graduation. The gelatin outer casing of a paintball is the same gel that's the same gel base that's used for pills that you take, gel pills. Um, it's called polyurethane glycol. It is biodegradable and you can eat one and it won't hurt you. The paint itself has chemicals in it that after it dries off, you pretty much just wipe your clothes and it just falls off, turns to dust. Actually inside of the paintball, it's a gel or more of a watery based paint. And on impact with anybody, it will hit and as soon as it hits oxygen, it'll turn into a gel where it'll stick. And then after time goes by, it's whenever it turns into the actual dry shavings that you just wipe off. It'll wash out of clothes and that. Once you get in there, it's like adrenaline rush. You just feel so good to be a part of the team. We're out here to have fun. We believe in that. Paintball can uh, be a stress reliever, can be something that we love to do. It's just as much as I would support any other sport that someone else was doing. Um, and 
the way it's put out there is just unfortunate. I don't really think there's a cap to how good you can get, but I do know that the best, the best part of paintballing is watching yourself get better and just thinking about all those guys that you look up to that play. If you're having fun playing the sport, then you're doing the right thing.